What is going on everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we are at Echo Valley going to be playing the front nine with a putter only. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you're probably thinking he's going to play this front nine with the Luna and you'd be wrong because today we're actually going to switch it up. Little test trial with the Envy. I used to bag the Envy. It's quite different than the Luna when it comes to hand feel. I think it's shallower and I think it flies maybe a little bit further, to be honest with you. What better way to give it a test trial than to come to one of the hardest courses in the area? I don't know how this is gonna go. Honestly, if I can shoot a round par through nine holes, I'll be happy. If you're off these fairways, it can get pretty rough. So hopefully we're hitting lines today. The envies that I have today are these Electron Firm James Conrad envies. Shout out Warriors Collars here. When I used to bag them, these are the ones that I bagged. I think they're pretty straight. I don't know if they flip up at all, but we're gonna find that out today. We're gonna even putt with these things because why not? Should be a fun one. Let's test them out. Let's get it going. Hole one is one of the easier par fours on the course. You wanna start out getting this one. It's almost that insurance birdie to start the day. 481 feet this first shot. You wanna throw pretty much as straight and as far as possible. And you got a little gap when you get up there. Well, they're pretty stable. That one is. No sign of flip up there. Let's see if I can get this one out a little flatter. Okay, that one drifted. I also slipped a little bit on the tee pad. Why these are a lot different than the Luna is because the Luna is a bit more rounded off. Also, I feel like when you throw the Luna, you really want to give it the height. It's a little bit more floaty of a putter. And then the Envy, it almost feels faster in the hand. It almost feels more like a mid-range than a putter. It's very shallow and I almost feel like you don't have to give them as much height. Still putter, you want to give them height to fly, but maybe not as much as the Luna. This is downhill, kind of slopes to the left. Ah, I just put it a little too high. It looks like I can go straight at this, so that's what I'm gonna do. Sit. Perfect. All right, so first couple throws under the belt with the Envy. Like I said, it had been a while since I've thrown these things, so hopefully from here, we can figure them out and get some birdies maybe. Hole two here, 253 feet. Pretty tough little gap. Nice tunnel going downhill slightly. Try to hit the Envy relatively flat, see if we can get down there. Try to keep it a little bit lower so that we don't air past the basket. Turn. Not gonna. Got a little luffy little lefty <laughs> got a little lucky on that left side i started this video off by saying that i was gonna putt with the envies i'm thinking that over i'm not sure why i would do that so i'm just gonna putt my wardens i brought them with me so why not use them nice hole three 382 it is a bit of a monster par three it bends up around the right corner here. My first shot, I'm just trying to go as straight as possible, get through the gap, and then see if we can make something work from there to get the par. I have never birdied this one. This is a very, very difficult birdie to get, even if you have your full bag. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I did get a little lucky through that right gap. I did yank that slightly, but that is gonna be in a you know decent position. If I remember correctly, you can get some crispy forehands out of these things. We'll see if I can get one right here. Yes, sawed it off a little bit, but we got a putt for par and that's all I can ask for. I feel like I haven't been doing a very good job shouting this out, but all my affiliate links are down below. So if you're looking for any of the equipment or gear that I use, Check down below, because chances are you could get a discount on it. We got a hole four here, 436. It's a par four. It goes downhill, and at the bottom of the hill, there is a OB Creek. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that on the first shot with these putters. Then you cross the creek up to the basket. So this first shot, I'm going to try to throw one on this left side. Maybe try to work it a little right. Truthfully, I'm just trying to miss first available here. <sighs> Perfect. Skip. Yes, could have been a little higher, but we did hit the line. Well, is that hitting the line? From here, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna pitch a forehand across the creek, get up and down for the par. Yeah, and that kind of gives us a long look. Maybe we can throw one in from there. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. Outside circle here, I'm gonna try to hyzer this in. Ah, there's this one branch that comes off of this tree and I'm looking at it the whole way. There we go. Should have went under it. This branch right here. 
I don't know if you guys watch my Luna versus the World series, but if you do, you know I probably would have missed that putt with the Luna. It feels so good doing one of these like putter only challenges and using my actual putters inside putting range. I was gonna say inside circle, but that was not inside circle. Let me know down in the comments, does Discraft have anything similar to the Envy? I'm a big Discraft fan, uh, not necessarily loyal to Discraft, but I do bag a lot of Discraft and I haven't tried a bunch of their putters. So if they have anything like the Envy, let me know, kind of that shallow putter. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Hole five, 335. You really can't do this hole justice, but it is a blast to throw. And it's even more fun if you can hit the line right down the middle. So very much downhill. If you throw it high, you can easily, you know, stall out or you can go way past this basket. Doesn't matter how well I do. I'm going to throw both of these off this tee. <sighs> Little high, get through that. Okay, we're safe across the way. With it being so much downhill, sometimes your disc wants to start drifting right. I thought maybe that would flip up downhill, gain in speed, but of course it didn't, so. There we go. Much better. That's fun. That's what you wanna do. I feel like I've been on full attack mode on the putting green here, so this one's gonna be no different. Try to step this one off. Ooh, just low. These are the putts when you're on your own, you're like easy par, easy make, but during anything competitive, it is the most nerve wracking putt ever. Luckily, this isn't competitive. If you guys have made it this far, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me. We are always doing rounds like this, challenges, disc reviews, anything disc golf, you're gonna find it here. So go ahead and hit that sub button. Hole six here, 263, right down the middle, you can go on the right side. There's kind of this hyzer gap on the right. Personally, I think it's kind of a fraud. I think the majority of shots filter short of the basket, but it is kind of a safer route, I guess. Personally, I feel like I don't come to Echo Valley and not try to go down the middle. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Oh, if I could get any amount of flip up, man. That's the thing, I think these firm ones are gonna beat up. I mean, there's already gashes on them. I think they're gonna beat up and flip up for me, which would be better for my game. Of course, I could have thrown that flatter. I'm blaming the disc. It was my fault, but there we go. Stripe that one. Oh, the last tree. Of course, we can all relate to that. Oh, I pulled it though. That was very, very poor. Hole seven here, par four, 495 feet. There is a creek that runs through the middle of the fairway. Again, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about it because I don't think we're gonna get the envy there. So this first shot, I'm just trying to stripe right down the middle. Second shot over the creek, maybe birdie. We'll see where this drive lands. <sighs> a little left side, depending on where that slid to, could be good. I landed short left. And the problem is if I do throw a hyzer, I just, I'm not sure it gets to the basket. It's probably the safest shot here and then lay up for the par, but it's a little unfortunate because I thought I was going to have more from here. <sighs> Honestly, that is, that's pretty good. By all means, this is a makeable putt. It is uphill. Going to have to try to give it a little bit more speed. <sighs> oh, just not enough, not enough Annie. Hole eight here, 488, it is a par four. There's an OB road that runs along the right side. So if you're on it or past it, you're gonna be OB. Keep this one in bounds. If I can land center cut of this fairway, we might have an opportunity to go for the birdie. <sighs> oh, that is gonna be very bad, folks. That is pretty much jail. Pitch out, take the par. As you can see, you're pretty much in the danger zone over here. Danger zone. This probably isn't my brightest idea, but I'm gonna try to throw kind of a forehand roller. See if we can get some distance. Oh yeah. Oh, I got hung up on a tree. Now how I manage this, I'm not quite sure. This is not really what I planned when I threw a roller. <laughs> I can't believe that worked out so good. Drop. 
Oh man, that was close. Hole nine, par four, 556. This tee shot is kind of intimidating just because you have a few early trees. So if you hit those, you're pretty much screwed. It's a far par four because it plays a little uphill and then it bends to the right. We're gonna see if we can get off the tee. Last hole of the video. Let's make it a good one. Oh my. Oh, there must be some wind out there because that just dropped out of the sky. I don't know why I haven't done this already, but I feel like it wouldn't be a James Conrad envy round if we didn't try James Conrad. Oh my gosh. Trying to throw like James Conrad is the equivalent of trying to hit a golf ball like Adam Sandler in Happy Gilmore. Tell me I'm wrong. Go, go, go. I didn't know these skinny trees were here around this corner. This is gonna be incredibly tough. A little harder than I had imagined. Sit down, sit down. I'm so happy I hit that gap. Could have thrown it a little harder, a little flatter, but we have a putt for the par and that's gonna feel like a birdie. There's actually some nerves on this putt because if I make this, we just went bogey free through the front nine with only a putter, which I feel like is pretty good. Yes. Not only did we go bogey free, but we went one under. We held on to that birdie on two the entire day and I couldn't be any happier about that. There you guys have it. That is my round, nine holes with the Envy only. It makes me kind of want to switch. This was a great pre-trial. That's what I called it at the beginning of the video. Yes, I've thrown these before, but I hadn't in a long time. And it kind of makes me want to go back to them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.